want some! Artyom? Damn, you're alive! I'm so glad to see you. And I just managed to get in contact with the Aurora. They are worried. And I get that. This place isn't as simple as it first seemed. Come, I'll show you. Olga! I told you people, they just needed passage. Are you sure you're not coming? I'm sorry, Alyosha. I can't just up and leave like this. No matter how much I like you. In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, the hell with it. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Artyom, let's go! Olga! Remember what I told you! Get them out of the valley! There's death behind the dam! I just hope she convinces them! They are stubborn like... in bad shape. We must move. Time is short. Neither the air nor the drugs we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. Come! We all remained silent while the Aurora was running along the poison sea held at bay by the dam. We believed we'd be back. Now, having seen the sword of Damocles hanging over the valley, we knew it was not meant to be. Alyosha is especially worried. His old guy's there. Perhaps he will be able to warn her via radio and save the people there. What happens next? I have no idea. I am ready for anything. Anything but one thing. Anna, please, hold on. Without you, I have nothing to live for, nothing to dream about. Doubly so, since if not for that dream of mine, you'd be all right now. You know when I found this photo of the Pacific Ocean, I just knew for some reason that we were going to go there in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. I know I'll get there, and if I need some help, you'll be there for me. You'll save me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please, stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. Stupid piece of cloth and wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. <coughs> Arthur, you should go. I'll give her a shot. Let her sleep a bit. Tell me what happened last year. 
Did someone pull it? Oga! How you are you? I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk, and the radiation wow. outside is the almost as high as back in Moscow. Ah, the shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still, Novosibirsk is most probably so what do we do now? radioactive. I'll tell you what we do. And I will go. This is not right. the other way. We go together. No, sir. Not no first. She is my daughter. His wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the order. We are one crew, and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an order mission. It is a personal errand. Mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center, or in one of the Akademgorov labs. Zahana's life might well end up in your hands, too. Third and last, wherever we might go, Winter is coming, and getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? That river is a huge please. railway technology museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen, your missions are to search the Akadem Gorodot labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew! Get ready for the mission! Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we beat. Sir, 